Hey there, fitness enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that many of you have requested, exercises that will help you achieve those coveted round, wide shoulders. Whether you're a gym veteran or just starting your fitness journey, these exercises will help you build strength and definition in your shoulder muscles. Before we jump into the exercises, Building rounded shoulders involves targeting and developing the muscles in the shoulder region, primarily the deltoid muscles. The deltoid is a large, triangular muscle responsible for the overall shape and appearance of the shoulders. It consists of three distinct heads, the anterior, front, deltoid, the medial, side, deltoid, and the posterior, rear, deltoid. Each head plays a crucial role in creating that rounded, wide look. Anterior deltoid. The anterior deltoid is located at the front of the shoulder. It originates from the collarbone, clavicle, and inserts into the upper part of the humerus, upper arm bone. This muscle is involved in shoulder flexion, which means lifting your arms forward and upward. Exercises like standing military press and Arnold press primarily target the anterior deltoid. Medial deltoid. The medial deltoid is situated on the side of the shoulder. It originates from the outer edge of the scapula, shoulder blade, and inserts into the upper arm bone. The medial deltoid is responsible for shoulder abduction, which is lifting your arms out to the sides. Side lateral raises is a great exercise to target the medial deltoid. Posterior deltoid. The posterior deltoid is located at the back of the shoulder. It originates from the spine of the scapula and inserts into the upper arm bone. This muscle is responsible for shoulder extension, which involves moving your arms backward. Bent over rear delt raises are effective in targeting the posterior deltoid. Now, let's jump into the workouts that will target your shoulder muscles to help you achieve those coveted round and wide shoulders you have been seeking. Number 1. Standing Military Press. The standing military press is a classic and effective compound exercise that targets the shoulder muscles, particularly the anterior deltoid, while also engaging various other muscles for stabilization. When performed correctly, the standing military press can indeed contribute to achieving round, wide shoulders. Here's how it works. The primary focus of the standing military press is the anterior deltoid, which is the front part of the shoulder. When you press the weight overhead, you actively engage the anterior deltoid to lift your arms forward and upward. The continuous tension on this muscle during the exercise helps in strengthening and developing it, leading to more prominent and well-rounded shoulders. Although the anterior deltoid is the main target, the standing military press is a compound movement that involves multiple muscle groups working together. This exercise also engages the medial deltoid, side shoulder muscle, triceps, back of the arms, and upper chest muscles. By targeting these muscles in addition to the anterior deltoid, the standing military press contributes to overall shoulder development and width. To perform the standing military press correctly, you must engage your core muscles and maintain stability throughout the movement. This not only helps in protecting your spine but also activates the stabilizing muscles around the shoulders, including the trapezius and rotator cuff muscles. Strengthening these stabilizers is essential for maintaining proper shoulder alignment and reducing the risk of injuries. Number 2. Behind the Neck Press. The Behind the Neck Press is an exercise that can be used to target the shoulder muscles, including the deltoids, trapezius, and triceps. When performed correctly and safely, the Behind the Neck Press can contribute to building round, wide shoulders. However, it's essential to understand the proper execution and potential risks associated with this exercise. Let's explore how it can be used effectively. The primary focus of the behind the neck press is on the deltoid muscles, especially the medial deltoid, side shoulder muscle, and the posterior deltoid, rear shoulder muscle. When you press the weight overhead from behind the neck, you activate these shoulder muscles to lift your arms out to the sides and upward. This helps in strengthening and developing the shoulder muscles, contributing to the round appearance of the shoulders. In addition to targeting the deltoids, the behind-the-neck press also engages other muscles to support the movement. The trapezius, upper back muscle, and triceps, back of the arms, 
are involved in stabilizing the shoulder joint and assisting in pressing the weight overhead. Strengthening these muscles can enhance overall shoulder stability and contribute to a wide shoulder appearance. Number 3. Dumbbell Bench Press. The Dumbbell Bench Press is a compound exercise primarily known for targeting the chest muscles, pectoralis major and minor. However, when performed with certain variations and proper technique, it can also engage the shoulder muscles, including the anterior deltoids. While the dumbbell bench press may not directly target all three heads of the deltoids, it can still be a valuable addition to your shoulder workout routine to contribute to round, wide shoulders. Here's how it can be used effectively. To emphasize the engagement of the anterior deltoids during the dumbbell bench press, you can use a specific variation known as the neutral grip dumbbell bench press or dumbbell squeeze press. In this variation, instead of using a traditional pronated grip, palms facing forward, you use a neutral grip, palms facing each other. This hand position shifts more of the workload to the shoulders, especially the anterior deltoids, while still engaging the chest muscles. While the primary focus of the dumbbell bench press is the chest, the shoulder muscles, including the deltoids, act as stabilizers during the movement. They help control the weight and maintain shoulder stability throughout the exercise. This additional workload on the shoulders can contribute to their development and support the roundness of the shoulders. The dumbbell bench press, when performed with a neutral grip, can be used as part of your shoulder workout routine to engage the anterior deltoids and support shoulder development. However, for more comprehensive results, it's crucial to include a variety of targeted shoulder exercises that work all three heads of the deltoids, along with proper nutrition and rest for muscle growth and recovery. Number 4. Machine Shoulder Press. The machine shoulder press is an exercise that targets the shoulder muscles, primarily the deltoids, while providing a controlled and guided movement. When performed correctly, the machine shoulder press can be a valuable addition to your shoulder workout routine and can contribute to building round, wide shoulders. Here's how it can be used effectively. The primary focus of the machine shoulder press is on the deltoid muscles, specifically the anterior deltoid, front shoulder muscle. As you press the handles or weights overhead, the machine provides a fixed path, isolating the shoulder muscles and reducing the involvement of other muscle groups. This isolation allows for better targeting of the deltoids and aids in developing the rounded appearance of the shoulders. Unlike free weight exercises like the barbell or dumbbell press, the machine shoulder press provides stability and support, which can be beneficial for beginners or individuals with shoulder issues. The machine guides the movement, reducing the risk of improper form and potential injuries. This can be especially helpful for those who may struggle with balance or have limited shoulder mobility. The machine shoulder press can be used as part of your shoulder workout routine to target the anterior deltoid and support overall shoulder development. Its guided movement and stability make it suitable for various fitness levels and can be an effective tool in achieving round, wide shoulders. However, to achieve optimal results, it's important to include a variety of targeted shoulder exercises, along with proper nutrition and rest for muscle growth and recovery. There you have it, folks. A comprehensive list of exercises that will help you build those round, wide shoulders. Remember, consistency and proper form are key to seeing results. Start with a weight that challenges you but allows you to maintain good form. As you progress, gradually increase the intensity. Also, don't forget to pair these exercises with a well-balanced diet to support your muscle growth. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And, as always, stay tuned for more fitness tips and workout routines. These other two videos will definitely help you out. Until next time, stay fit and stay healthy. See you in the next video.